part four of my Black Friday sale from Diamond Art Club. And these last four paintings that I bought are huge. So let's get started. First one is Hawaiian Life by David McLean. You can see it here. And it is 98 by 70 centimeters. So let's, oh, and it's a square, if you can tell by the blue square in front. Um, let's get started. So today's a different day and Maui is not here. He is actually waiting in the carpool line with my husband to pick up our son from school. So I get a nice little break today from carpool duty. That doesn't happen very often, so I am taking advantage of that to make some videos. So with Diamond Art Club, you get their toolkit, which comes in a translucent resealable bag. And because it's a square kit, it comes, oh, the cover came off. So be careful with these. Their square toolkits come with these super sharp pointy tweezers. They can focus. It will stab you and it will draw blood. I am speaking from experience. So be very careful with these. And apparently this cap came off during transit. So let me just get it and put it back on. So there you go. If you have, if you buy it around diamond painting kits from Diamond Art Club, it does not come with these sharp tweezers. Oops, sorry. Bumping into you guys. Toolkit also comes with this little blue plastic diamond painting pen. You also get a handful of baggies along with a clear tray. And of course, their skinny four-placer, which are great. These are great. I have a little scuff mark on mine, but still works fine. These are my favorite multi-placers. You get two plates of heart-shaped wax, and you also get a blue squishy that you can put around your little pen for comfort. So that's the toolkit. I'm gonna put all of these back in. And let's dive into the actual kit. All right, so we also get a baby sticker that gives you the name and the artist along with all the information for your diamond painting that you can use however you like for organizing or decorating or whatever you wanna do. And then it also comes with a giant sticker that tells you the same thing with the artist rendering of the picture and also your um, inventory sheet. So this looks like there's 59 colors with one, two, three, three ABs. Now, if you don't know what ABs are, it stands for Aurora Borealis, which is reminiscent of the Northern Lights. What it means is that there is an iridescent coating on these beads that makes it shimmer and sparkle just a little bit more. And it really serves as like an accent to your paintings. But you know, I mean, a little bit goes a long way, but a lot is also really fun to use. So finding ABs in your diamond painting kits are always fun. And the way you can tell that Diamond Art Club has these as ABs is that all their ABs are numbered below 149. So we got three here. All right, let's get into the canvas. comes wrapped in this plastic sleeve. And it is a poured glue canvas. So I am actually gonna roll this backwards to flatten it out a little bit more. Diamond Art Club's canvases are made from a tarpaulin material, which is self-flattening, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this to flatten it out a lot quicker. we have got two bags of drills that I'll show you in a second as well as a step-by-step -step instruction brochure on how to diamond paint. All right, and here it is. Oh, let me move this up for you. Look at how bright and colorful and tropical this is. This really speaks to me because I love Hawaii. I, I spent a lot of time there and I named my dog after Hawaii and I, I just love this picture. Everything about it does does seem like Hawaii to me. You know, you got the tropical plants and the green mountains, and it's just 
the palm trees and everything is just great. And look at how awesome this canvas already looks without even putting diamonds on it. So can you imagine with the drills on it? It's gonna be great. So like I said, this is a port glue canvas. It comes with a clear plastic cover and you got the key on both sides of your diamond painting as well as a thumbprint in the lower left-hand side with all the information you need. Here's a peek at the drill field. I don't see any issues there. And let's take a quick look at our drill. So the drills do come labeled because there's two packets. It says Hawaiian Life two of one and the second packet will say two of two. And that is really helpful if you are like me and you store your paintings separate from your drills. So here's a quick peek at what the drills look like. Um, these are squares. At quick glance, I don't see any excess trash. Here's one of the ABs here, this yellow. You can see it like glimmers just a little bit differently from the rest. And it does kind of accent the rest of the diamonds around it. So here you can get a better look at the squares. Smooth edges, I don't see too many divots or any divots at all actually. But you know, at the end of the day, you can't, you never know how the diamonds are. I mean, here's another AB here, your blue. You never really know how these diamonds are until you start placing them on the canvas. So that's partly why I kind of just glean over these drills. Cause I feel like it's a little redundant and also because while you can kind of see the quality of it, you just never know. But you know what Diamond Art Club, they are top notch. Never really had any problems with their drills, but even if you did, their customer service is great and responsive. So you don't have to worry. So you can take a good look at these squares. And there you go. That is the second bag for Hawaiian Life by David McLean. Here's another last look at the canvas. And let's move on to the second one. All right, next up, I've got Farm Country, also a square by David McLean, same artist. And this is the same size as before, 98 by 70 centimeters. If you can't tell, I really like landscape paintings. Those just speak to me. And of course, you know, for the, for all the detail to show, they have to be giant. So just about every diamond painting I own is giant. So same toolkit as before. Here's our baby sticker. Let me let you take a look at this picture. And then here's our big sticker. And it looks like this has 56 colors with three ABs. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at the canvas. Everyone having a good day today? My allergies are killing me. I am dying here. So I feel like every day is a bad allergy day for me. I live in Texas and I am just about allergic to everything in Texas. So there's no avoiding allergies on any given day for me, unfortunately. I've done allergy shots for almost 10 years. It worked for a while. And then it's kind of starting to come back. So I'm thinking I may have to restart my allergy shots. But anyways, here it is, farm country in an, another great canvas. Look at how awesome this looks. You can, this is the other thing I love about square canvases. You can really see the picture before you even put the diamonds on it. The rounds aren't as clear, but you always get a great result with either rounds or square, but you know, it's just nice to have this to see, you know? But here you go, and look at this cute little dog right here, I love that. And as before, you got the key on both sides of the canvas. Here is your thumbnail, and here's a peek 
at the drill field. Oh, and here's a, is that a dog? Is that a second dog? I didn't even notice that. Okay. Super clear. David McLean is quickly becoming my second favorite artist at Diamond Art Club. I think I have just about every painting they put out of his so far. So, him and Chuck Henson. Okay, so here's the first set of drills. And once again, I don't see any noticeable trash. Here's one of our ABs here. That's 141 in white. And is that, I think this is an AB too. It's hard to see with the glare, but that looks like a reddish orange. Sorry for sniffling, guys. But here you go. Look, these look great. And here's the top view. Not much to see here. But here's the second bag from Country 2 of 2. Here's that bright red that everybody likes. Here we go. I love how all these colors just complement. Even in the bag, they just look amazing. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan of Diamond Art Club. So, there you go. And this is it. Farm Country by David McLean. All right, let's move on. Okay. All right, next up is Mountain Castle by Dominic Davison, I believe. Yes. And this is also 98 by 70. So the last three diamond paintings I've shown you have been the same size, 98 by 70 centimeters, which comes out to 38.6 by 27.6 inches. Giant ones, giant ones, guys. But as you've seen, the canvases are just gorgeous. You know, you can't beat the detail that's on it with that size. All right. Okay. Same as before. Toolkit. Baby sticker. And here's a better look at the artist picture. And here's the mama sticker. And look, I just love pictures like this where it looks like you're looking through a window. And I forgot the name of this castle, but it's a castle in Germany. It's really famous and yeah, a lot of history in it. I think the Nazis had used it as their um, storage ground for all their stolen art at one point during World War II. It is now a national museum, I believe. So now this one has 56 colors with two ABs. Let's take a look at it. Okay, rolling this back. <sighs> Those the drills here. We got two packs. Our step-by-step -step instructions sheet that I don't think anyone ever looks at. And here is the canvas. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it it looks like you're looking through a window. And I love the growing plants around the edges. The detail is just great. And once again. You got a key on both sides of the canvas, if you can see that corner. We have a thumbnail at the lower left-hand side. And here's a look at the drill field. No problems as usual. Okay, put this down and let's look at the drills. So, here is Mountain Castle, two of one. Once again, it's a square. I don't know if I told you guys that, but it's a square painting again. And here's some wonky piece here, but 
Diamond Art Club always provides 20% more diamonds than you need. So as long as you got enough to finish the canvas, that's not a, that's a non-issue. But even if you do run out, just give them a shout and they're always more than happy to send you what you need. Okay, so that's the first batch. Here's the second one. Mountain Castle by Dominic Davison. I really like this one. I don't know when I'll ever get to it, but I have it and it will be done eventually, right? I think that's our story for a lot of things. Okay, last but not least is Old Pumpkin Farm, also by Dominic Davison. And this one is bigger. 104 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It's a long one, but look at this. Awesome. And it's a square. You can tell because you got the blue square in front with the blue striped around the box. Rounds will have a, round, a pink round shape, circle shape in front of the box with a pink stripe around the box. Anyways, let's get into this. Oh, sorry, I'm sighing a lot. My allergies are just really getting to me. There. So, once again, standard toolkit. Baby picture or baby sticker. Pumpkin Farm by Dominic Davison. This, I predict a lot of confetti. Look at these trees. That is going to be a lot of confetti on these trees. Well, let's take a look. Oh, before that, Mama sticker, 51 colors with two ABs. So all four of my diamond paintings in this video have more than 50 colors in it. I think Diamond Art Club's really stepping up the color game on this. So roll this back. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get this at an angle where I can roll it efficiently and yet not bump the tripod and I think I'm failing miserably. So here's your brochure. Our two packs of drills and here's our diamond painting. Old Pumpkin Farm by Dominic Davison. And you know what? Uh, the red tree doesn't look, seem to have as much confetti, but this golden brown one looks a little dicey. But you know, if you like confetti, there you go. But even then you still got a decent amount of color blocking in the pasture, in the sky. So it's, it's I would say it's a decent, it's manageable. So once again, you got a key on both sides of the canvas. You have your thumbnail right here. Let's take a look at the drill field. See, I would say this is manageable. Let's look at the tree. Oh, okay. That's not bad at all. Okay. So there you go. Old pumpkin farm. Let's set this out again. And then let's take a look at the drill. Here's the first batch. Squares again. And here is a big bag of 135, which looks like a light red, reddish AB. Look at how pretty that is. Bet you that's going in the tree. And here's the side view. Not seeing much there. Here's the back. Here's the bottom view. Look at all these great fall colors. And here's the second AB. It's a yellow. And see what I mean by how it accents the rest of the drills? Yeah, I think ABs are fun. They're fun. 
There's the second bag. It's a side view. It's back view. And there you have it, Old Pumpkin Farm by, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank, Dominic Davison, sorry. Well, there you go. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and um, stay tuned because I've got other things coming up. Thanks, you guys. Have a good, great day. Bye now.